Have you ever wondered how cells can be perceived by the naked eye even if they are continuously growing in size? The reason behind that is because cell growth and cell division are closely intertwined with each other. If cells continue to grow, they will not function properly. Hence, why do cells need to divide? Without one, there would be abnormalities in cellular growth and function. We can say that without cell growth, cell division is not possible and vice versa. In this experiment, we will demonstrate the analogy of cell growth using our baseballs. The materials needed for the activity are one piece of glove, Orbis balls, 500 ml of water, and a container. After preparing all the materials needed, pour 500 ml of water on the gloves, then put the Orbis balls inside it. Afterwards, tie the gloves to make sure that the water doesn't go outside the gloves, securing the Orbis balls inside. Leave it for 4 hours on a container with water. Check it after 4 hours and you will notice that the appearance of the cloth becomes different and the kisses are larger. The kisses is a good representation of a cell and here, we have proven that cells increases its size and get bigger. Without the presence of water, the kisses can grow in size because there is nothing to absorb. This leads us to the conclusion that the cells inside or the cytoplasm grows faster than their outside or the cell membrane. Because of the growth of Orbis balls or the kisses, they start to compress and they occupy the space inside the glove. We can conclude that Multiple cells can form a new level of organization, which is called tissue. After cutting the gloves, the cases came out. We noticed that some of the cases were broken and stumped. It is similar to what happens when the volume or the cytoplasm of the cell increases, the amount of nutrients and waste also increase proportionally. The surface area of the cell membrane would not be enough to diffuse the waste built up in the cytoplasm and they would be destroyed. It gives us the idea that, in cell growth process, some cells can be damaged or acquire injuries. In summary, we can conclude that Number 1. Cells increases its size Number 2. When cells get bigger, their inside grows faster than their outside Number 3. Multiple cells can form a new level of organization which is called tissue. And lastly, in cell growth process, some cells are damaged. This concludes our experiment. Thank you and we hope you learned something.